Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Biz here, and today we are back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be exploring other lumber tycoons in Roblox. This is a tradition of sorts I began in 2022, where I just explore other Lumber Tycoon remakes. You know, for instance, I believe Lumber Tycoon X and, and 7 right here were in the previous year's video. But here we are in another year, 2024, where there are new Lumber Tycoons that have been released. Obviously not by defaultio, but nonetheless, they're interesting to explore. You know, looking for new things that could be added to Lumber Tycoon 2. And just interesting to explore nonetheless, seeing if they're worth even playing to begin with. The first of which we're going to be exploring is this one. Winter Lumber Tycoon Modded. This has 217 people playing currently. Which is kind of remarkable. 200 and yeah, yeah something like that. And uh, so let's just jump into this one, see what it's all about, and uh, see if it's even worth playing to begin with. All right, we are loaded in here. We have, I don't know how much money that is, it's a lot. <laughs> so I think the title was modded or something, right? So this is going to be a, a, a modded version uh, of the game. Uh, yeah, Winter Lumber Tycoon Modded is the title. So Winter, interesting. I wonder how this is going to be winter themed. So we're going to be exploring this game and seeing uh, if there's any utility in, in, in playing it, if there's any, any interesting in it. So we have a new conveyors here, interesting. So we have speed, that's actually super interesting. I would like for this to be added. It's faster conveyors in Lumber Tycoon. And, and obviously it's going to cost extra money, but that's okay. We have the bird axe. Okay, so, so we see a lot of these axes that, yeah, look at Alpha, Rickery, Beta. Discord. Okay, yeah, I believe this was also an axe. So we see a lot of axes that have been taken out of the game, actually back in the game. So this almost seems like a VIP room of sorts. Whoa, look how much money that is. What the heck? That is remarkable. So yeah, this looks like the Amber Axe. Yeah, so a lot of axes that have been taken out. Chainsaw. That would be actually cool to be to be seen in, in Lumber Tycoon. I noticed that's kind of slow, so I'm sorry for that. Probably because it's all like <laughs> tons of tons of new stuff here. Uh, well, not really new, I suppose, but Sinister Axe. We see some new stuff along with a lot of returning things. Ooh, what's this? Toilet paper. Interesting. I wonder what that is useful for. And a new vehicle, looks like. Worn down. What? It can drive a water, but much slower compared to the real thing. Okay. So is there is there actually boats then? So we see some new things on the, on the billboard here. Okay, it said much slower than the real thing. So I'm wondering if that's actually hinting at the fact that that's a thing in this game, if there are real boats or not. Um, ooh, change log. So this axe is actually updated, which is kind of interesting. I can't scroll down for some reason. We'll have to explore that building over there. Let's see what's new in here. So you can, okay, so there's a lot of in-game purchases. Looks like, so that's interesting. Uh, we see some new ge geographical features here as well. Is that the place where the cave is that was just added? Oh, I wonder. But yeah, we're going to be exploring through. I think in the previous video, I explored quite a few more, like maybe five to ten. Uh, for the sake of time, we're not going to be exploring too many. I want to give like a more in-depth tutorial here. Not tutorial, exploration here of these. And uh, obviously, it's going to be a longer video nonetheless. So hopefully you enjoy uh, these longer form videos. Okay, so we have a new shop over here. What was the same name of this? Uh, Find finds the third. Interesting. Very interesting. Box truck. That is a must. This is a must in Lumber Tycoon. You know, there are glitches that make your car like this, your your truck like this, where there are, you know, it's like a, a truck of, uh, a box. I, I don't really know how to describe it, but there are like ways that you can get your car to look like this in Lumber Tycoon, but not as good as this, obviously. Portable wood depot. Okay, so you can sell your wood there. That would be really helpful. Crate of mysteries. Get up to six different presents within this crate. Only available for a limited time. Writable sign. That's actually interesting. Oh my goodness. We have, okay, that's already in the game. We have some new blueprints, looks like. Wooden snow globe. Pumpkin wood cubes. Wooden pumpkin. This is remarkable. Honestly, I'm actually super impressed. I think default to you has got to learn from some of these things. I did a series back in the day called uh, Looking for New Things in Lumber Tycoon 2, uh, where it's kind of similar to this, where I, I hopped into other Lumber Tycoon uh, 2s, or Lum Lumber Tycoons, I suppose, and looked at some of the features that they had, and, and was like hypothesizing, hey, if this could be added to Lumber Tycoon, this would really change the game. And I think we've already seen some of that here. 
you know, especially the portable wood depot stood out to me. Then obviously the box car is probably the main thing. We see some new woods back there. We're going to try to explore those if we have time. So we have some are these wood depots too. That's like a little dumpsters over there. This is another wood depot. This is the VIP store. So I might have to actually purchase VIP, which I'm not going to do to get into that. But new woods as well. And maybe we can get ourselves a slot and get a car. We'll see here how easy that's going to be. I'll let you just find a bunch of trees. I'll let you guys read all these. These are really interesting. A lot of in-game purchases that kind of allow you to do some things. Make the game experience a little bit better for you. What is this? It's a ball. A pumpkin, I mean, I guess. VIP axe. Looks like faster conveyors, maybe. Oh, just golden conveyors. Okay, the new truck that we saw earlier. New factory saw. We'll get stuff done fast with this new and improved sawmill. Golden toilet, looks like. We already have that. Storage house. Super, super cool. Uh, I'm going to cut the video, see if I can get a, a land plot and a car. If not, we'll just have to walk everywhere, but in either case, we'll try to keep this quick. Okay, so I'm trying to buy land, and it just... Oh my gosh! So I can buy land all the way over here? It, imagine having a plot over there in Lumber Tycoon. That is... That would be interesting. Alright, so here we are. We bought, we bought a car. We actually bought the boat car, so we're going to try to drive this on... Uh, on the water as well. Planter store under the arch, go through the wall. What is this? Super dark. Okay, there's lights in here. I'm actually liking this a lot. You know, the creativity of this all, if there were, if, <laughs> if they didn't give me a, what is that, like a billion or trillion or something, probably a billion dollars, that would be kind of better <laughs> because then you could actually be able to play this legitimately. Interesting, I wonder what this is supposed to be. Because then, then you can actually play this legitimately. You know, there's some great features in here and it's kind of just exploiting at this point. Or kind of, it's just a modded form, right? You get max money, there's not really a point to playing this game legitimately for that reason. But I think General Lumber, okay, so it's a new name for that. We're gonna check just really briefly out this area. The whole camera angle is t entirely different too. I'm not sure you can kind of probably tell that by how I'm looking around. It feels super different. It's kind of turning on its own. Uh, sorry for the lag too. Again, I can't control that because <laughs> all the crap that's in this game, I think is making it lag. Let's jump over here to the... F oh, let's actually try this out. Should we try this out right here? I don't want it to flip, but... Okay, so yeah, that's going to not work out for me. <laughs> okay, so I actually can zoom out. Sorry, I, I didn't realize I could. Yeah, the, the whole mechanics of this are a little bit, a little bit glitchy. Let's see if there's anything new here. Looks like there is. I already see a new store. Oh, I like this. Oh my word. Oh my word. I'm not sure if I can go in here because it's closed, but maybe I can glitch through the doors here. This is crazy. Okay, so small trailer. That's the same, I think, right? Look at my walking. I don't like. I'm not sure if I like that. The, the Enhanced Purpose Hauler. So I think that's what was out there. The gate trailer. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. Imagine having this. The whole gate truck or that, that thing we saw earlier where it was entirely enclosed, you know, the box truck. I also love how it's displayed out here so you know exactly what you're going to get. You can just kind of get a, a, a good deal of, hey, this is what I'm going to get. I really want to purchase this because it's going to allow me... Look at my character. Allow me to do some new stuff here. New NPC, what is this? The blocks, look how expensive all this stuff is. So I guess it's, maybe it's just Lumber Tycoon with crazy inflation <laughs> because the stuff itself is expensive, but you are given a ton of money as well to start out with. Yeah, so this is a bit glitchy as you can see. Holy crap, why am I walking this like, like this? Let's see if there's anything new in here. Let's see if I can manage to glitch through here. I'm not sure I'll be able to see anything if even if there is something new. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not gonna explore anything else here at least. Let's keep uh, driving around the map and then see if we can find anything else that's new. Okay, here we are at where Bob's shack is supposed to be. 
Uh, Plantomics Choice. Looks like we got... There's a whole bunch of new items. I'm not sure it's really categorized too, too carefully here. But, yeah. I wonder, yeah, there's definitely too many items. I think if... Whoa, look at these mini trees. That's kind of cool. See those little things right there? There's a lot of, lot of stuff. A lot of new stuff. If some of these things were added to Lumber Tycoon 2, obviously I think it would have to be a lot slower. You know, have to add these things much slower than having all of this at once. But it looks like there's a new biome over there. For the sake of time, I'm not going to explore that. Super interesting. Uh, I'm going to do one quick round at the main biome just to check out some more new trees and stuff. Looks like we got some more stuff over there, maybe. Um, and then we're going to call it good for this game. So far, super impressed though. So we see some new trees over here. Like a rainbow tree that's actually kind of cool okay so we have this bridge here that used to be here during the uh winter games event let's see if there's any new trees or anything new over here whoa looks like a whole new biome over there new tree right there yeah we're just really quickly honestly i'm super impressed looks like a lot of time went into creating this game i now understand why there are a few hundred people playing and i think there should be even more like this one I'd be surprised if any if the other two games top this because so far I'm super impressed. Obviously, the whole th whole fact that it's modded kind of takes away from it. Plus, the fact that there's just so many new items is a bit overwhelming for me. But super impressed. What is this? Oh, is this like the rookery thing where you place? Huh. This might be something like that. But we're gonna call it a day for uh, this game. We spent maybe you know, a considerable amount of time in this for sure. We didn't explore the ferry, obviously, going over the ferry uh, or you know, some more places, but we explored the main areas and uh, we can just see there's a ton of new items, ton of new opportunities for uh, new features that could be added to Lumber Tycoon 2. Specifically, I think what impressed me was the box car, it's just the car variance. I think the car story needs to be expanded in Lumber Tycoon, adding new cars and more trailers, adding some more axes as well, just generally uh, really cool, really impressed. With that, let's go to which one should we do next? Let's go. To, let's go to this one next. Then we're gonna end off with this last one that looks a little bit different from the rest. I'm, sh I'm wondering if that's like a more like a tycoon of sorts and less like a lumber tycoon. Um, you know what I mean? Like it's still probably a lumber tycoon, but it's not like the same uh, layout uh, as what we're used to at playing lumber tycoon too, right? So let's just load into this game and uh, explore this next All one. Right here we are in this next lumber tycoon. So we have 30,000 to begin with, looks like. Or is that 300,000? 300,000. 300, uh, ooh, okay. Look at the, look at the, every game has their own weird UI and, and just feel of things. Crazy sensitivity here. Okay, so here, okay. So what I'm seeing now, straight after that, we have a lot of recurring items, returning items, I should say. And definitely some new ones for sure. Let's check out these new ones. You hear that? You guys hear like the new, uh... okay, I, I might, turn, might turn down the sensitivity, but look at the new, everything is like weird. It feels weird and it sounds different for sure. So the finished ax, the black pumpkin ax, the crimson, ghost, galaxy, super cool. I actually am starting to like this one kind of a lot too, just because it's, well, it's running a lot better than the previous one for one. And two, I, I like the variety of axes here. That it's not just a whole bunch of returning axes. It's just a, a whole bunch of new ones that I'd like to check out. Holiday Mill. Okay. Oh my. Oh, it looks like you have to be, be a VIP or something for that. Okay. Oh well. Let's, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the first time exploring these with you guys too. So like, this is kind of an experience for both of us. I'm just taking it all in. Let me see if I can buy some land, get a vehicle, and that can make our lives much easier getting around. Okay, take a look how smooth this is. I'm already noticing some extra plots. A lot of new stuff. Super smooth. I think someone's already on that. Is there a place that's closer to this? We'll have to go here. Look how like crystal smooth this all is. Like the sensitivity is super fast. There's like barely any lag at all, especially if, look at that car. Especially if you're being a just a remarkable uh remarkably large game. Let's get a vehicle here. 
And then let's get on the road. So it looks like I'm going to be invisible, which is a little bit weird. Um, I can't zoom out either. Let me turn down the sound. I'm sorry if it's loud. I don't want to ear rape y'all. So we have a retextured end times. Is this car going faster? I feel like it's going a little bit faster. Maybe it's just because I'm in first person. We have this radio tower. We have the bridge. We'll go over the bridge in a second. Let's explore everything on the mainland first. New biome with a retextured uh, elm. Looks like. Whoa, that's blinding. You see, a lot of these Lumber Tycoon remakes have like trees like this that are just like so eye-catching that it's almost like jarring. It almost like hurts your eyes. I'm not sure if I'd like something like that. Like the blue wood, the cave crawler wood that's already in the game, kind of already does that. Not to that extent. Oh my gosh. Like it obviously doesn't hurt my eyes, but <laughs> it kind of does at the same time. Okay. Uh, lots of new trees. So why do we have... Interesting. So they're re... I don't know. They're going through the files and rechanging things because that's a end time or no. I'm lost. I can't even think. The frost would be retextured or restructured as a uh, um, a cave crawler. So let's let's pay the toll. The last one didn't have a toll to be paid. I've also noticed that a lot of these number tickers have like windmills or like uh, radio towers. I w I don't know why. I don't know why that's like a common theme between between these things. I'm already seeing a new tree over there. Obviously, there's just tons of new trees. Tons of new stuff happening all around me. It's al it's almost too much. <laughs> it definitely is almost too much. I like the street lights though. That's a nice touch. That is definitely is a nice touch. I wonder if obviously when it gets night, it's probably gonna make things easier to see. When it gets dark in Lumber Tycoon 2, it gets dark, right? I think street lights or something similar would be a nice addition for sure. Okay, so we have uh, at least one new vehicle. Lumber tow truck. Huh. I like that. XXXL. Okay, so just new car variants. I don't think that's too overwhelming. I could totally see something like that be added to Lumber. Tycoon 2. New flooring. I actually love the redesign of the floors. I think it fits so much better. Golden toilet. Looks like... Ah, uh, what is this present again? Sled. Shouldn't that be in the car store? plate over there other than that obviously that gift over there i'm not sure there's much else that's new there let's check out i can't drive through there i normally would be able to let's see if there is a bob shack or something similar to bob shack interesting so everything's red here because it's not just this, this, this these red trees it's also this and okay yeah, to a certain extent, it's just like too much. It's like, there's so many biomes to explore. Like, it's good that we have exposure to this so that we can kind of get an idea of what could be added to Lumber Tycoon, but there's a lot of stuff here. It's just so overwhelming. Let's see, anything new here? Turkeys. What's this? Berry can, so that's new. Is there an eye up here? There is. <laughs> I predicted that. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the mainland, or I guess we could try to kind of go this way and see if there's anything else. The sun, do you see that? Look how beautiful the sun is. I would love if Lumber Tycoon could do something like that. Like a retextured... I don't know, I'm not asking for like just entirely modernized or realistic textures, but... Graphics, I mean, and textures. But something like this would be a nice, nice addition. The clouds to... Really loving this one. I'm really loving this one as well. I'm actually surprised. I thought the first one would totally not knock everything out of the park, but this one is doing that for me as well. So let's uh let's explore the other side of this land, the mainland, and then we can go over the majestic bridge that we saw earlier. All right, nothing else uh, that's new that I could see at least. Look how it's getting darker. It's just super gradual. I love it. Let's see how these streetlights... Uh, illuminate as well if we can find any of those i suppose we'll probably see some over here maybe doesn't this look so like majestic i like it i like it a lot it's like a city it's like a city feel 
you know, you have a bridge, you have all these new items and these new shops and look at the Palm Islands are closer. The colors are throwing me off though. You know, with all these bright flashy colors and now this Palm Island's different than this one. And the fact that they're just retextured versions of other trees. Like I'm not throwing shade on the person who made this because obviously so much effort went into this, but a lot of stuff is a lot of repetition for, for sure. I'm wondering what you guys think. Do you think a bridge would be more popular than a ferry? I mean, a ferry, you have to wait for things. It takes longer, but it also makes the trip over here more like, interesting, more exciting. Like, I'm going to go take a trip over the ferry and get some paintings, for instance. It might take me like half an hour or something like that if I factor in all, all the time doing everything, right? Uh, but a bridge really expedites that process. But it kind of takes away the fun of the ferry, right? Let's see if there's anything new in Link's logic. Hopefully it's, oh, it just closed. That's that's unfortunate. Let's see if we can just peek through the windows at all. Or, uh, yeah, nothing new, nothing new. Okay, so really interesting. Uh, for Again, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go up all into, you know, the, the firewood area. I'm not gonna go through the maze and into the taiga biome and, and whatnot but super impressed looks like there's a lot of stuff that's been added maybe there's uh some more stuff that's going to be added as well i'm not sure how these people do this like do they just how do you copy paste lumber tycoon 2's presets is that possible i guess i guess i guess it is because it's just one for one with a lot of alterations to that uh but yeah really cool if I had to rate this one, let's, let's rate the first one. I would rate the first one. The fact that it's modded kind of throws it off for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock, knock it down to probably an eight. This one, I'm gonna give it eight as well. It's less interesting, I think, the, than the first one, but it kind of makes up for it in other ways. In the graphics, in the fact that there's a lot of uh, just new items, it's less overwhelming. It's more overwhelming in terms of like the trees, I think, and all that, but I think it's less overwhelming in terms of everything else. So this one has a new thumbnail, totally different. Welcome to Lumber Tech. Uh, this game is about lumbering processing. I'm wondering if this one is more like the original Lumber Tycoon. You know, I've made a video about that recently, like uh, 15 years later, the original Lumber Tycoon. And uh, it's much more of a tycoon. You, you kind of can agree that the current Lumber Tycoon 2 is not, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah looks like it. The current Lumber Tycoon 2 is, it's definitely a tycoon, but a lot of tycoons have a tendency to not save your progress. I'm not saying that's like a general thing over across all tycoons, but that's one thing. And then a lot of tycoons look more tycoonish, kind of like this. Yep, yep, just as I expected. Interesting. So let's just. This almost has like a miner's haven type feel. Have you guys ever played that? Let's let's just jump straight into this. It's going to be a totally different feel than the previous ones. We'll explore the rest of the map in a second, but let's just kind of. Get started here. Uh, looks like this is our furnace. Do we get money from there, I guess? Buy a conveyor. Buy a sawmill. So it, it kind of gets you started here for for free. And then do I get an axe? How do I start? It does cost Robux, so here's my next free thing. VIP woodcutter. Oh, free my butt. That's not free. Interesting. So I already had wood that's going into there. Where did that come from? Where, where is this coming from? What is what, what is this? It's a sawmill of sorts, but where did it come from? Huh. What is this, like an inventory? Dang, a lot of these games, just a whole bunch of in-game purchasing. Uh, yeah, a lot of in-game purchases. Not a huge fan of that, but hey, people gotta make money, I guess. So a thousand, what should I buy? A sawmill. What, so I don't have a sawmill or what? I'm, I'm so lost. How do I buy a, okay, so that's earning, but I'm not getting money. You see my money's not going up. Buy a woodcutter, floor expansion, walls. Is this like bugged or something? Why am I not getting money? What else can I buy here? Wood polisher. Maybe that'll make my wood. Okay, it's totally a miner's haven thing. 
Okay, for those of you who've played Miner's Haven, this is exactly what happens. You have something that produces ores. It's like Number Tycoon, but for ores-ish. Kind of. <laughs> you have things that produce ores, and you can have things that upgrade the ores uh, as they get to the place where you sell them. The only problem, the only difference here is I'm not making any money from this, so... I don't know if you're actually cutting down trees to place them, but rather that these things are automatically being produced for you. Similar to, again, Miner's Haven. So that's a wood woodcutter. We already have that. What is this? Manual? Second. Oh, yeah, this is totally Miner's Haven. Holy crap. Yeah, I, I don't mean to compare the two too much. Some of you might be getting frustrated with me. Oh, oh okay. 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 I'm stupid. I am stupid. So this is where you can actually collect the money. Uh, this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> I, I forgot how fun tycoons can be. Uh, they can kind of be a, a nice time waster, though, too. Where uh, you're not... Really, you kind of lose track of time when you play these because they're so addicting. Uh, conveyor walls. How do I get another? If I just spam this, I'll get a lot of it. A lot of money here. Okay. I don't know if I can buy anything else right now. I might just have to wait. Yeah, I'm not going to spend money. Nope. Definitely not. Okay. I understand the general gist of this. I think you guys too uh, do too. Private island, another feature that Miner's Haven has. Money earned here will be collected at your base unless you have an auto collect game pass. My island. Huh. I like how smooth this is. This is like an actual game. This is not something that is just like thrown together, you know, with that much effort. So a sawmill, I'll buy a sawmill. Then what's this? Conveyor okay, expansion. I don't want to waste all my money here. So I am producing money here. Wood strength, ooh. Wood strengthener. What is this? Wood. Yeah, let's just see what this does. Why not? I'll purchase this one too. Really cool. I'm actually really impressed. Let's see if there's music in this. Um, there is. For the sake of copyright, I'm not going to risk that. But I really like this. The whole private island gives a whole different feel. That looks like the main island over there. I, I could see myself playing this. I don't know about y'all. Like I could totally see myself playing this and Spending a whole bunch of time on this. Let's see if I can. I'm already earning so much money too. Yeah, I could totally get addicted to this. <laughs> could you guys too? I could totally. Um, I, yeah. Why am I playing this game? I'm supposed to be exploring this. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's get a hold of ourselves here. Wow, I could waste hours in this game. Let's explore the rest of this really quick. I don't, I'm not sure if there's much else. We can maybe see some other people's bases. Rebirths. Okay, this is, this is freaking, this is, okay. Yeah, Miner's Haven. You right, you guys should really play that game. It's a great game, by the way. Uh, it has the opportunity for you to rebirth, meaning that if you get so rich, so wealthy in the game, then you kind of rebirth and you start over. But you start over with like a, a bet, like a, like a new exclusive item or, I'm not sure how this game is going to do it, but yeah, it probably tells you rebirths here. Yeah, really cool. I'm not sure I can go into this person's base, probably die, yep, but get a quick look at what's inside there. Just a lot of, oops, kind of shows you what can uh, be added to your base when you uh, expand it enough and add to it. I'm not going to, ooh, I, yeah, this is just wonderful. I'm actually, I want to rate this one a 9 out of 10. Even though it's not a traditional Lumber Tycoon 2 type game, it's still a Lumber Tycoon, right? There's an opportunity for you to do some obby, some parkour right here. I, I wonder if your progress saves. Should I just check it out real quick? Let me let me leave, jump in, and then go back. If it saves, then that's going to take this to a whole nother level because 
a lot of tycoons don't save and it's like what's the purpose of playing a game that where your your progress doesn't save right all right your progress officially does save which is just amazing 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 yep definitely a 9 9.5 out of 10 probably partially because it reminds me of miner's haven one of my favorite games in roblox besides lumber tycoon 2 i made a ton of videos maybe not a ton but i made a decent amount of videos on that so i don't know if i could recommend any of the, the games that i explore today it would definitely be this one but really all of them they've been really uh, impressive for sure so i don't know whatever one you think might suit you best if any of them at all i would recommend you just check them out and see uh if they interest you at all you know lumber tycoon 2 is a great game definitely by far my favorite out of all of these but it's not updated very very frequently there's not a whole bunch of new items it's kind of dull you have to agree with me there so i think some of these could could spice things up for you could give you something to do until lumber tycoon 2 is updated again uh but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it was more of a longer video sorry for that or if you do like those videos longer longer form videos then uh, i guess you're welcome <laughs> but in any case i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new go try these out for yourself and see if you enjoy them at all uh, like, comment, subscribe, leave uh, any comments you have in the comment section below. Any video ideas, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible on those. And turn on the bell for me so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Without further ado, I will see you guys in next week's video. Peace out.